Hello everyone, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters. This is the winner of the 5th of September winner box Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters tournament. His name is Luke and he was running Necros. Yes, I'm So would you like to give out a little deck profile? Sure. First is a lot better than ninth, so we can all stop the bullshit. So, yeah, so I play free Senju because it's good. And it searches the monsters that you need. Uh, free Manju because it's a better Senju because it gives you the option to search spells. Pretty much staple. Yeah, you have to uh, free of each. Uh, Team Axie, I figured that there wouldn't be that much Necros here today or Clifford, since there was a lot of Clifford last time, so I assumed everyone would be playing something other than Clifford to beat Clifford. Uh, so I thought this would be better. A lot of people were playing BA. I played two BA in Swiss and I beat one and tied to the other. One Arch Phoenix centric. I didn't expect many mirror matches because people were kind of giving up on the deck. A lot of people aren't playing it in Birmingham for whatever reason. And I feel like this card is just a great card for Rogues. It's an MST and an Exiled Force. And you can. I didn't do it today, but there's a, they rule it so you can send it off Kaleidoscope to something Colossalus, which is kind of neat. It didn't happen, but it was nice to have that option there if it came up. One Shurik, right. it's at one. It's card broken. One Grand Sorcerer, because it combos with um, Exa. If you haven't seen this combo already, then Google it on YouTube, because you'll definitely find out why this is good. It's because like this can send this, this can bring back the Shurik that you banished, which is good. It also allows you to take a slow fight, it allows you to get to go to a Trish from the Sendu. Uh, triple Valve, because it stops battle damage draws your cards. Uh, since um, there wasn't going to be many Necron mirror matches here today, this card was going to be really good, because it's still a 2 nine stick that's going to keep drawing me cards. Really good card. I was meant to make a card in my extra deck, I'll show you about as well. Uh, free Unicorn, this card should have went to one instead of Shurik in my opinion, it would have been a much fairer attack to the deck. It would have made them less broken. Two Brynak, because you can't play three, it's really good. Two Colossus, because it's really good. You don't want to play one, I played one for a while and I always missed the second. Uh, one Trish, one Decisive I was playing two. My friend I spoke to the night before told me that two would probably be a bit too many. So I thought I'd cut it to one because I needed space because I want to play loads more combo cards instead of controlly cards. One gold sark for Exa, and um, like I think I only used it once today. I searched the prep, but by the time this, uh, the prep was going to my hand, uh, I'd already been through my time for preparation and right, so it wasn't that great. I probably would cut this card. One Book of Moon because it's just a removal card for so many different cards that fuck me over, like Valentine's Fiend, Majesty's Fiend, Thunder King Ryo, and it helps me just push for damage and it combos nicely with um, Allied Decisive Armor thing. Uh, Regeki because it's an out of the card I literally just mentioned. Preparation of Rights because it's a sack. <laughs> two Kaleidoscope, two Mirror, and two Cycle. You don't want to play any odd number of those, you want to play two, two, two. It's the best split. Triple Rota. I thought about cutting this to two due to show it going to one. I actually do side one of these outmost games when I want to play for a slower game. And triple up Start Goblin because I had that much space in my deck um, to the point where I wanted to put three of these in to make my deck a little bit more consistent. Because it's just important to get to a send you turn one. So on to the extra deck I played one Honor Arc. Uh, it's just a good hour to two on stick. It's pretty good. It gets a bit of, a bit of problems as well that I don't need to use my big plays for. Cowboy for the ATK and for just getting the last bit of shit damage to winning games. So you might general did this once in case there wasn't any cliff forts, uh, but this card single handedly just fucks that match up hard. One Rhapsody, didn't make this once, but I had to play because it's insane. One foul round, I made this twice off double Valk. Um, this card wins games. You grind something out of this, you make this, you win. They can't beat it. They can't top the Darkhole, they can't top the Regeki. They're fucked. Uh, one Diamond Diable for removing background before making a huge play. One Dweller for pumping up my guys big enough to attack through and hindering my opponent's gameplay. One Castell for removing big guys and just putting pressure on my opponent. Double Emerald for recycling stuff. The second Emerald always comes to put the first one back so you can keep your link going. I actually made that an underwhelming amount of times today. It always got outed. Double Excite Knight. I made two quite a lot today uh, in single games. When I can't make an Emerald and this is in the graveyard, if I only played one, be, I would regret playing a second. Just being able to blow your opponent out with like discard Colossus, discard Unicorn, discard Brynak and chaining the effect just wins games. Uh, double Arc Light for sending off Kaleidoscope for Unicorn and a Shooting Quasar just for sending it off a of Kaleido to summon two monsters, Valk and Unicorn. On the side, I decided to get my MSTs because game one, I want my deck to be extremely aggressive and combo as fuck. This card supports that in game two and three, where my player puts in more cards to stop me. S uh, same reason for Fairy Wind, a lot of the problems spells and traps right now are the face up ones. Also, this card single handedly will fuck up Cliff Hut when they go to play Wavering Rise. Plus, the bird damage can sometimes help, I guess. Uh, double Dark Hole. Um, I really haven't tried this card in a long time at two. I'm really happy I listened to my friend who advised me to play it if I'm expecting rogue matchups because this card just destroys rogue. This card um, single handedly um, helped me beat um, um, Ritual Beast today just because of the fact like they had Thunder King, they have anything, this just wipes that board, they can't do anything about it. And if you open up double of them, you're fucking loving life. Uh, double Denko. 
Uh, three is too many, I think, for the amount of spawn prop hate I already run. I mean, I already suck quite a lot in. I don't want to make my deck too clunky with too many normal summons, so two's perfect. I do this a fair number of times today, so I don't think without it, I would have won the tournament. Really good card. As long as you play it correctly. Double Summon Monk. Uh, the reason I play Double Summon Monk is because obviously I play an incredible amount of spell cards, which will allow me to get this card, which is a Floodgate Monster, which is unfair, and this card, which is a Floodgate Monster, which is unfair. Uh, also, this card can just get some neat cards from the deck, just make rank 4s. Plus, I can go like Monk, Dishes Spell, get Monk, Monk, Dishes Spell, uh, get one of these, and I can make a rank 4 to support it, which is really good. And I play one Retaliating C. I really, really wish I could have started the second, but space was ridiculously tight. This card is amazing. But yeah, it's been my deck profile. Thanks for watching, guys.